Welcome back to Home Insulation Tips, your ultimate source for home improvement wisdom. In today's episode, we're diving into a topic that's fundamental to understanding insulation. Insulation R-Value Explained. If you're a homeowner looking to make your home more energy efficient, you've come to the right place. Let's explore what R value is and why it matters for your home value, comfort, and energy saving. What is R value? So what exactly is R value? R value is a measure of thermal resistance, indicating how effective an insulation material is at resisting heat flow. In simpler terms, it tells us how well an insulation material can keep your home warm in the winter and cool in the summer. The higher the R value, the better the insulation performs and is closed of from external factors. Understanding the R value scale. R values are typically measured on a scale and the values vary depending on the material and thickness. For example, fiberglass insulation has an R value that ranges from 2.2 to 2.7 per inch, while spray foam insulation can reach as high as 6.5 per inch. Big differences, but also very different ways to apply at your home. Different parts of your home may require different R values to optimize energy efficiency. For example, the roof might have more layers than the floors or walls. How to calculate R value for your home. Calculating the R value for your home is quite straightforward and not difficult. Start by measuring the thickness of your insulation material in inches. This is no rocket science, but should be done correctly. Then find the R value per inch of that material. Multiply the thickness by the R value per inch to get the total R value for that particular layer of insulation. Repeat this process for all layers of insulation in a specific area of your home. This way you make sure you have a right outcome of the calculation and you know your home's efficiency. The importance of R value for different zones. Understanding R value is crucial for various zones in your home and can differ per part of your house, depending on layers and insulation materials. For example, in colder climates, you'll want higher R values in your walls and attic to keep the heat in during the winter. In warmer climates, you'll focus on reducing heat gain by selecting materials with higher R values for your roof and walls. Combining R values for maximum efficiency. One key concept to grasp is that you can combine R values to achieve the desired insulation level. Adding up the R values of individual layers in walls, ceilings, and floors allows you to create a thermal barrier that meets your climate's needs that feel comfortable to you. The goal is to prevent heat exchange with the external environment and the risk of loosing your comfortable temperature. R value and cost effectiveness. It's essential to strike a balance between R value and cost. Weigh it evenly. Higher R value materials tend to be more expensive, so it's not always necessary to use the highest R value material for every application. Analyze your budget and climate to make a smart choice that optimizes efficiency without breaking the bank. Final tips. In summary, R value is a critical factor when selecting insulation materials for your home, shed, or garden home. It's a measure of thermal resistance, and the higher the R value, the better the insulation's ability to maintain indoor comfort. Remember to calculate the required R value for different areas of your home based on your climate and choose materials that strike the right balance between performance and cost. Thank you for joining us today for taking the time to watch our informative video about R value. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Home Insulation Tips. We'll keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. We'll see you in the next video. If you have questions, remarks, or suggestions, don't forget to hit us up or leave your comment in the section down this video.